Hey, what's up you guys? Thanks for hanging out with me today. Let's go ahead and talk about red lipstick, at least my collection of it. I always claim to not really have red be like a go-to for me. And then as I'm looking at my counter, because I try to keep all my makeup on my counter, I try to put very little like away in places except for those boxes you guys have kind of seen in my collection. I try to keep everything out and I'm looking at all these reds I have between lip liners, glosses, bullets, liquid lips. I'm like, I, I have a huge collection for someone who doesn't really like it. So I thought it would be fun to kind of show you guys what I have. I think red is a classic color that everyone can kind of have in their collection and it's very flattering, you know, for everyone in a lot of different occasions, especially depending on how opaque you make it or how heavy, you know, you make the line or you can even blot it on for just like that popsicle look. You know, they sell a lot of different products to blot and give these effects, but if you're just careful with how you apply or change your application technique, then you can kind of achieve a lot of different looks with the same color lipstick. Same formula, too, so. Um, right now, I'm wearing trapeze on my face. Um, I did, like, a bunch of swatches and kind of forgot this one, so you'll see it now. you see it on my lips, but I'll also swatch it in. But this is from ColourPop, and... I have two of these in this Luxe formula. This is a matte, and um, I do really like, like this formula if it's in the right color. It's comfortable, um, it's really, really pretty. I don't have any problems with it. The packaging is gorgeous. It has like a nice weight to it as well. So this is a gorgeous, like, I almost didn't know if I should include this in this video because it's almost for like red meets orange and I wasn't sure if I should consider this orange but I went ahead and just lumped it in with my red collection anyway because for me personally like when I'm thinking of reds like I'll still look through this as an option so that kind of made me decide to include it in the video but the rest are all um they're all here in this little box that I put aside just so I could grab and we can kind of just chit chat about each one really quickly and I'll put in some swatches just for fun because for me I just love swatches and watching swatch videos I find them really appealing to see all the different color selections no matter how similar and speaking of it seems like a great place to start is um, with my ColourPop the B Sticks collection I have three of them and I mentioned this in a previous video where I thought I was getting a bunch of different reds and I'd try a selection and I'd really just fill out which one was like the right tone for me. And then when they arrived and I put them on, like, they're all the same red. <laughs> Slight variation. Um, with this one, this is called Jam Sesh. It is a matte. And it's just like a really pretty cherry red. Terracotta one, but 
but I do find myself reaching for gold quite a bit. And the only reason that I don't reach for Jam Sesh like as much as the other two is because my liquid lips, um, I have several in this color. And when I'm wearing red, which as I mentioned isn't very often considering the vastness of this category collection, um, yeah, I, I usually gravitate towards um, something a little bit more bulletproof, less messy, not going to get on my teeth as easily. Not that these do, but me, he's your hair, it's always on my teeth if it's not a liquid lipstick. So when I'm reaching for reds, especially this bright red, that's usually what it's for. Which brings me to the next one that I'm going to talk about. This was in my declutter, and I allegedly decluttered it, and it wound up back in my collection, and I'm not even mad about it. Like. This is Missy and Fierce from Wet n Wild. There was just, when I was getting rid of those, like after filming, I just, this just wanted back in my collection. I was just like, I really just don't want to get rid of it. I like it. I enjoy it. And for $5, like you cannot beat that. So I wound up reaching for this quite a bit, which is why I don't use the Jam Sesh um, bright red. They are quite, quite similar in color. But yeah, I, I love this. It is just very beautiful, mid-toned red, not too warm, not too cool, on me at least, so yeah, it's just in a liquid lipstick that's, you know, I can, because sometimes with the higher end stuff, as much as it performs well, it's like I don't want to travel with it, I don't want it to get dropped, I don't want to, you know, carry it around in my purse and forget where it is, and so these $5 mark kind of gems are really nice because they're, I don't feel so guilty if I have to replace them or something does happen to them, but that being said, I did not declutter it. Guilty. <laughs> it's still in my collection. I'm still using it and enjoying it. And um, when it's out, I'll probably be repurchasing this and another color in uh, this line, just for fun. Um, I think, segueing into um, the Wet n Wild, they're a, that is a great dupe for, I'm just going to briefly mention these. They'll probably be the last time they're mentioned on my channel. Sadly, enough said about that, but I have um, this gorgeous pink meets a red called Cherry Wet, and that's exactly what I love about it. It's just bordering on, you know, a pink tint, but it's still very red, and when I want like a bright pink, this is what I reach for. It's just beautiful, and then um, this is my staple like every single day for a long time. Um, it will not be on my channel anymore, uh, but that's designer wood because I am a graphic designer, I really resonate with the name too, you know, so I thought it was really cute, but yeah, two of my favorite reds um, that I will no longer be mentioning on my channel past this video. Consider this a red. I just think it's more of like a nude red. So you guys can see that. Okay. Yeah. So I love that one. That's really, really beautiful. And that's one that's really beautiful to put on very heavy, or you can just blot it on with a little chapstick. Beautiful. Okay. Um, just quickly talk about my red lip liners. I don't reach for red lip liners very often, but every now and again if I need a little cleanup or I know I have a long night ahead and I just want to make sure those lines are extra sealed and tight and clean, then I'll kind of use a red lip liner. Um, also, I will use them absolutely with these glosses that I'm about to mention next because these are just hotness sometimes without liner. So, um, the first one, my um, first two are ColourPop. I know, shocker, you're seeing ColourPop on my channel. Amazing, right? Shocking. <laughs> no, these are a favorite of cream lip liner. I have Bossy, which is this bright red, 
and Love Bug. Oh my gosh, Love Bug is my love. It's my favorite lip liner. All time. This and Curvy are my favorite lip liners. Um, colors from ColourPop, so so pretty. But um, this is just like that perfect terracotta red that I was telling you about that I love. Let's see, Let her up. Yeah, she's not very sharp. mid-tone red with that kind of orangey terracotta. And then there's that bright cherry red that I have quite a bit of. It's those two. And then this last one is from MAC. This is called Brick. And this is just a really gorgeous deep red in your classic pencil formula, which the creams are very nice. You can wear them on their own with like a chapstick or something. Um, they're kind of creamy and like will spread out if you do like dab them and play with them, whereas this is going to stay put right where it is, this classic pencil formula. So this is nice for cleanup, this is nice for laying under um, the glosses that I'm about to mention next. So those are kind of a few reds. Not a super huge difference, like I wouldn't feel the need to go and have all of these again if I ran out of one. Um, I think Love Bug's probably the one that I would replace. Um, so moving into the losses. Ah, uh, butter lipstick formula. It's so underrated. Why is no one talking about this? I love um, lots of color, but very, very um, comfortable and rich. So um, I love having this as a good one to have in your purse for a long night um, for that day to night kind of change over because it does have like a deep, nice color to it, but it's not too out there. Um, I'll just show you my hand too, like how kind of glossy this formula is. Some of these claim to be glossy, but then they dry down that, you know? Whereas this actually is very moisturizing, so I find it nice for all occasions. Really, really pretty. I would like to have um, more colors in this formula. Splash! I just saw recently that, oh no, do I have a hair in my face? It's probably been that whole time. It's fine, right? It's fine. <laughs> I just saw recently they came out on their website with a throwback collection. LA Splash, are you serious? Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. That's like just what you guys need to be doing. I, I want it. I want it. <laughs> it really does bring me back. Those were all my favorite. I had them all in my collection multiple times purchased over until they got rid of that line, so. <laughs> but anyways, um, this is part of their newer gloss line, and this is the color, let's see, what are you called? Hadraniel. Hadraniel. Hopefully I'm saying that right, or close to. Um, I don't know the origin of that word, but it is, I think, an angel's name. That's this whole, the whole little line was like the divine collection, I think, so they were all like angelic names. This, I mean, I almost don't even know what to do with glosses that are just this colorful, this pigmented. It's so, it's so lovely. It has the most lovely fresh scent. I almost want to say it's like a sweet mint. It's crazy because it's not minty and it's not too sweet, but it does have this mentholy. It's very fresh. It's delicious. Don't eat it, but it smells really good. But, um, yeah, I just find this to be really, really messy. So absolutely have to wear this this one um, with a lip liner for sure for sure go ahead and just for fun it is a bit sticky <laughs> of a formula and you basically have to treat it like a lipstick when you apply this it's not just a little dab in the middle for that glossy dewy effect which is what I often like glosses for this is basically a lipstick you're just applying it in a lip gloss manner so but I definitely think it's fun and unique to have in my collection, and I appreciate it there. So, very beautiful product. Um, I don't know how I feel about this packaging. It's very, like, hollow and light and kind of has this, like, cheesy gem on it. But, um, yeah, as far as the quality of the actual film, it's really, really nice. Very pretty. Oh, this next one. Melted latex. This is another one that smells so delicious. It's like a watermelon Jolly Rancher or something. So good. But um, it's another one that I don't wear very often because I'm just a hot mess with it. But again, it's such a unique kind of thing in my collection. It definitely like 
latex is a great word for it because it's very thick, very opaque, very shiny. Look at that color, it's like a purpley red, so pretty. Um, the thing that I, I, tr I have trouble with with this color is it is so deep, even with the lip liners that I have, or the very deepest purpley lip liners that I have, like this is still darker. So I find that, you know, I just have to be very meticulous with applying it to make sure that everything's smooth and even and looks okay. So, but it is just a really pretty fun formula and I'm very curious what, um, you know, some of the lighter colors perform like. Like, is that more like a thick, uncomfortable gloss? Because this I forgive for being so thick and like, I mean, melted latex is the perfect name for it. It is. It's just like this thick goopy formula, but because of the color, I mean, it's just so pretty and rich on the lips, it's gorgeous, um, but I do have to be careful, it's not on my teeth, it doesn't resonate in the corners of my mouth, all that sort of goodness, so I don't reach for it as often as I'd like to, because in most occasions it's just not appropriate, it's too finicky, so, but, oh my gosh, isn't that just lovely? Look at that, it's so pretty. Anyways, you guys, that is it. That's this video. That is my collection of reds. You know, for someone who's not a big fan of red, reaches for it. Like, you know, this time of year only when I'm wearing minimal makeup because it's hot, or lots of bronzes and neutrals and warm colors. Here's what I reach for. <laughs> So hopefully you enjoyed this video with my kind of a little um, categorized collection in my vanity of, you know, what I play around with and what I use very often. And I just thought red was a fun classic color that everyone kind of enjoys every now and again. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I can't wait to um, show you what's coming up in my next few videos. I've got a few more curated palettes that are my go-to colors. I've got a cool edition coming up hopefully soon this next video and then um, the warm edition right after that. So if you guys have any requests or something you want to see, definitely hit me up. I'd love to hear what you guys have uh, to say and what you think of my channel. So thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one.